Wow. Yeah, this is good, man. I can't even buy this or so. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, another I sister in Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> and the chairs that you can borrow from. Mm. Wow. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. Not bad, not bad. But I'm a bit fat, lah. Huh? Hi, I'm Claudio and I'm with the A-List again today at the Singapore Chinese Cultural Centre for the Uncle's Love Monuments Exhibition. And today I'm with the uncles behind this wonderful artwork that you see behind. This is Steven and Uncle Francis. What drew you all to sketching and how long have you all been doing this? I love sketching since I'm young. So when I retired in 2011, then I joined Singapore Urban Sketcher and start sketching. So since then, I've been uh, like sketching every like every day. At the time when I retired, I had to find something to work over time from productively. For 55 years, I have now touched any drawing because of my work involvement. A group of my friends was watching me drawing, then they made comments. Why are you doing all these things? It is nothing beneficial to you. So someone who my friend said, why don't you do something monument, which probably can capture the history of the, of the building as well as the progress of Singapore. And having find that my first movement is the chimes. So when the chimes come up, wow, never successful, horrible work. After a few tries, I managed to get the, the neck of it. How about yourself? What inspired you to make you draw monuments? When I was a child, my dream is to become an, an architect, but uh, I didn't make it as an architect. So some of my friends said, you are not designing buildings, why not you draw buildings? Since I joined Urban Sketcher, one of the manifesto is to, you have to draw life on location. So I started uh, drawing buildings, especially old buildings around Singapore. So Uncle, it's fantastic. At least now I get a bit of background about why you all got into sketching, right? What was the first monument of Singapore that you all each respectively sketched? And what was the inspiration behind it? So I start to go over to City Hall. And I walk around City Hall. Instead of going to City Hall, I went into the Chimes. Walk, walking from internal, I walked to the external side of the whole building. And that's where my drawing is all nothing but 3D. Uh, so, I, I so it's from your memory? It's, it? it's not through all my memory. It's some of them basically through photograph. I can't remember whether it's a monument or not. My first sketch is Tiong Bahru. My early childhood, my, some of my relatives, they live in Tiong Bahru area. So you felt a bit of a connection? A bit of a connection. Uh, okay, then okay. from there, I don't really go into sketching monuments. I just sketch anything that I look at it. There is something that I, it interests me that I will start to sketch. What is the experience like sketching outdoors and uh, what do you get people saying to each of you? Because they, you're going to get a lot of negative comments like, wow, so ugly, like this is so okay, and all these sort of things. So I say, once you start to listen to all these things, it will put you off. But I'm off. sure there are also people who say like, quite nice, right? Like when they see yeah, that is after that. Uh. <laughs> after they see the thing come yeah, up. It's uh. the first, first few uh, sketching that mm. um, you have to overcome it. What do you think of the new technologies that's out there now? Like a lot of sketching, right? a lot of artists and illustrators and sketchers, right? They have they moved to the iPads, right? What do you think of that? And have you tried that out? I have tried. I personally, I don't like to use uh, digital. The the feel is different. Yes, yeah, our old man <laughs> at this age. <laughs> we are not technically survey in this digital. Artwork that go into digital, it don't have a personal feeling. No two person can be the same when they put in the color, the tone. When then, if you go over digital drawing, you draw a line. You yeah. know, you can repeat so many times yeah, yeah, to, get, to get the right line. Yeah, yeah, undo, but for redo. me, <laughs> if you just draw a line, wrong the line wrong means wrong. wrong. <laughs> At the same time, you are inflicting your division in ensuring correctness. Mm. So it trains a person's way of thinking. Okay, fantastic.